Hello everyone, welcome back to Protect Genius. This is me, Suri Prakash. And in today's video, I'm going to help you guys solve the Google Lens uh, is not working error problem. So guys, uh, I have already posted a video previously on this topic and I have showed you guys how to solve the error. This uh, is the video which I was talking about. If you guys have not yet checked out uh, that video, then just go please check it out. If that video doesn't work, then please come back here. And uh, I'll be in this video, I'll be teaching few more uh, steps to solve the problem uh, which I haven't specified in the video as I tried to in the video as short as possible it was just a 3 minute 55 seconds video or the entire video was 3 minute 55 seconds so I guess uh, I explained uh, 2 to 2.5 minutes of uh, solving the problem but still uh, uh, many of you in the comment section commented that you were you know unable to solve the problem uh, you are unable to solve the homework uh, problem. Uh, you are unable to access the homework filter. This is the homework filter which I was talking about. You are unable to access this uh, homework filter no matter how much uh, times you repeated the steps, you are unable to solve this problem. So in this video, I'll mainly focus on solving uh, the individual access of uh, individual features of the Google Lens. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to show you how to uh, solve uh, the problems regarding each and every individual filter. The steps is going to be the same for all the filters. This is, uh, I mean, this video is for the entire Google Lens uh, application. So do not uh, skip any part of this video and watch this video until the end or if you want to solve all your Google Lens problems. This video is a single video which will help you solve all the entire Google Lens uh, problems. So first of all, this is the Google Lens application which I was talking about and this is the homework filter which I which I specified, uh, this homework feature, you know, what it does is that it actually helps you to solve your homework. Uh, for example, let me take a screenshot of this. It's mainly helpful for students. Uh, I guess Google Lens is mostly used by students. No wonder, but uh, what this homework does is that uh, it helps students to solve their mathematical or computer or any homework related problems. Whenever you scan this, uh, you are going to get a solution for this. In this case, I have tried uh, using the homework filter for solving uh, or understanding what is the code uh, written over here. Uh, as you can see, by just scanning, we got a result uh, uh, that this code is a code to check if a number is positive or greater, uh, or greater than zero, uh, it's a negative number, okay. So yes, that's what this code does. and. Uh, this actually helps a lot of people, but uh, uh, not accessing this filter is going to cause a lot of problems. So guys, before moving on to the video, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, just go click on the subscribe button and the bell button, you to subscribe button in order to receive daily video updates on the tech uh, world and uh, the common problem solving things. Yes, and if you have uh, any problems which are facing related to the tech apps or application, something, you can just uh, leave it in the comment section. I'd be glad to help you on our uh, to solve what problems you are facing okay so guys uh, let's just not waste any more time and let's straightly dive into the video in this video i'll be showing you guys seven steps okay just remember i'm going to show you seven steps the steps uh, i which i'm going to show in this video uh, includes the steps uh, covered in the previous video too in the previous video i think i covered three of those steps but in this video i'm going to cover seven steps okay now the first step is we need to check whether our device's camera is uh, functioning properly so in order to check that all you have to do all you have to do is that open your device camera and check whether it is functioning properly so as you can see my device camera is functioning properly so i'm not facing any errors in that first step so moving on to the second step we must check uh, whether the google lens is enabled on our device in order to do that all you have to do is that go to you know uh, the settings and search for applications over here uh, and then search for Google Lens or there's another method where you just, uh, we could just go click the Google Lens and if we click on this eye, we'll be navigated to the Google Lens uh, settings and we just have to check whether this application is enabled or not. Now, uh, step three, we must clear the cats. In order to clear the cats and uh, data from the Google app, the same, we would have to redirect it to this page and then we would have to go to the storage option over here. And in here, we would have two options. One is clearing cats and clearing data. First of all, if this application is not working, all you have to do is hit clear the catch and you would have to open the Google Lens application. If it's still not working, 
then you must try clearing your data okay so now step 4 updating the google uh, lens application to its latest version in order to do that uh, we must open the google uh, play store and in here we would have to search for lens this is the google lens which application which i was talking about open this application and as you can see i just have two options over here uninstall and open if you have an update uh, you would uh, be shown an update instead of the open button over here as you can see and if an update is available for you just go click on the update option now step 5 uh, we would need to restart our device in order to restart our device just uh, if you are using an android device all you have to do is hit long press your power button this will take you to the option space i am using a samsung device so i have three options power off uh, power off restart and a uh, uh, force stop i guess yeah emergency mode so in there uh, either power off and uh, you know again power on your device after a minute or just click on the restart button and uh, restart your device now uh, step 6 is the going back to your uh, settings page and in here just force stop your application once i am not going to do it in this video i demonstrated this previously in my previous video we can just go check it out just force stop your application and again not uh, enable this application so it will help you solve the problems okay uh, if all of these six steps are not working the final and the only step which you can do in order to you know solve the problem is that just click this and click on the remove button and just uninstall this application and just go to play store and once again reinstall this application this will definitely solve you the problem but if it still uh, is not going to uh, your problem is not solved then let me know in the comment section what error you are facing i will do more research on the error in your part and i will uh, help you guys solve the problem so guys once again thanks for watching this video until end if you did enjoy watching this video and if you think this video is helpful to you just click on the thumbs up button below this video and like i told before if you are not yet subscribed to my channel just go click on the subscribe button and the bell button here to subscribe button in order to get you know updates Okay, so guys, uh, once again, thanks for watching this video. Until then, let's meet again in tomorrow's video. Until then, bye.